right now I could do that too. Got me, guys. 92 volt burnout. Bro, it's fast, bro. I didn't max it out. I got scared. Because I'm like, I only got a front brake. Holy crap. What's up guys, it's your boy Rashad back at Invoke Performance. And guys, it's a time for a long awaited garage overview. Guys, I've been super busy. There's been a lot going on on the channel. Uh, you guys have been loving the budget build series. And guys, it's just a lot of stuff just changing. So let me take you in the back to let you see what I've, uh, what I've acquired. Another EV. Guys, I've purchased another electric bike. And guess what it is, my favorite. It's another Bramo. Guys, this bike is so clean. It's a lower mileage Bramo than the one I have. But let's take a look at it and see what I got. So there it is right there. Um, I purchased it from a guy in Alabama. Uh, this bike also is not running and it's partially disassembled. It looks like uh, on this bike, the batteries are in good condition. However, there is some other electrical issue that I am not aware of. He said it powers up and it is able to take a charge but it will not turn on. So this is the state that I got it in. I have, as you can see, all the batteries on the bottom are disassembled. So, but I do have the batteries right over here. There they are. And the crazy thing about these batteries, guys, is they all are still fully balanced. So that's good. I should be able to just plug these batteries back up and then start troubleshooting from there. I'm gonna be using the same process that I used in that bike on this bike. So we should be good on that aspect. But uh, yeah, let's take a closer look at this. This is actually a 2014 Bramo. Very nice. And let's take a look at the fairings. So here it is right here, guys. This is the gray look. So it looks a little bit like that. I think they call this the lunar gray. I do definitely like this color scheme. It's very nice. But one thing I do notice on the 2014, that's how it looks on my bike. If I were to change the scheme to gray. I do like the gray and carbon look there, as you can see, that might be super nice. One of the main differences between the two bikes is all of these fenders are plastic versus on the 2013, they're real carbon fiber. So that's a big upside for the 13 or the older model. Every other panel is fully carbon versus on this bike, there are plastic components. But another big thing about this bike is the transmission is supposedly optimized, so it shifts a little bit smoother. Uh, if I can get this bike running, uh, I'm gonna definitely test this out. But right now, I don't know what the problem is. I do know I have a lot of parts if I can't get it working to keep this bike working. So that's a good plus that I'm definitely going to exploit. But yeah, uh, overall, super happy with what I got. Uh, with the bike, I do love restoring and fixing these Bramos because, you know, guys, we got to keep this thing alive. These the companies out of business, so all of the support is going to be on your own. And I would love to be the one to help you guys get it done. Also, I don't know if you noticed in the back corner. This is also one of my EVs. This is called a Dualtron Thunder. This is one of the fastest electric scooters that they make. There are some faster, but this one is capable of over 50 miles an hour. And trust me guys, I've tested it. So I'm gonna be doing some more content on this also. But guys, as you can tell, I love EVs and I've gotten busy. So right now I own three, not including the budget bill. So that really equals four EVs right now that I own. The budget bill is coming along quickly. And as a matter of fact, let's click to some footage right now and check out the budget build at 96 volts. Actually, I think it's around 89 volts, which was the max voltage. But yeah, let's click to that right now and check it out. Yo, what is up guys? It's back day two. So the last test was 72 volts. This time, take a look at this guys. We're all the way up to 90 volts at this thing. So it's gonna be absolutely insane. I don't know what's about to happen. This is like literally the maximum level of the controller. It's rated at 72 volts, but we have 90 volts at it right now. And in case you don't believe me, where's my multimeter? Boom, boom, zoom into here, sir. Check this out, check this out, guys. Multimeter, right there, negative to positive. Zoom into that. 89 volts right now on a 72 volt controller. Yes, it works. And now let's see what the top speed is, theoretically. So into the FuelTech FT450, I'm gonna rev it up. 10. Oh my god, 96 guys. Take a look at the back wheel. Guys, 
first ride. We're gonna see what it does. This time, I had a lot of comments saying, wear a helmet, I have a helmet. Let's do it. Yeah, you guys saw that, it kicks the back out. All right, it's game time. We're gonna go to the street here, baby. Run to the street, Lewis. All right, guys, 90 volt test, here we go. how he didn't check the brakes at all. Man, that oh, felt that. Oh, I'm about to do a burnout right now. I could do that too. Got me, guys. 92 volt burnout. Bro, it's fast, bro. I didn't max it out. I got scared. Because I'm like, I only got a front brake. Holy crap. Let's do it. Ah, oh, the gearing is really tall, so it doesn't leave really hard. Here we go. Oh. Sound on burn a few. Here we go. Ready? Yeah, it'll do a little something. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna try to do one more pull, 90 volts, see if I can get it faster. That's all she wrote, guys. 92 volt test. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later. Perfect.